everybody is at work. I know it's not 6 a.m., but Leslie and I are here this morning. And actually, if you hear anything, Carrie is next door. Hey, Carrie. We're here to talk to you today to let you know everything that we are doing at Pass on Joy and Personal Pepper Alley because people have had questions and we want you to know. The first thing I want you to notice though is I want you to notice this lovely painting that's right beside me. Morgan Herndon from MCH Artwork. She is a fabulous artist in Little Rock, North Little Rock, and she designed this for me. She and I have been working together to come up with the perfect piece of art to represent cancer. And when we talked to each other about it, we decided we'd just throw it around and decide what in the world represented cancer the best. And I called her one day and I said, you know, Morgan, I really feel like a roller coaster represents the cancer ride. And that is so true because when you are dealing with cancer, you have many highs, many lows, many peaks, many valleys. You just hang on and you're there for the ride. And so this is what is represented in this photo. I love it. We also have some prints and some note cards that we're going to have on sale in our store. So that brings me to letting you in on exactly what Pass on Joy is. When Stringer was diagnosed with cancer, they live in Whitehall and none of Lauren's friends live over there. And even though we are 45 minutes away, it's not like I could be there in five minutes. So I decided that I was gonna send her joy once a week. And so I reached out to about 18 or 20 of her friends and I said, these are the dates that Stringer is having all of his treatments. Would everybody take a week? And all of her friends graciously said, of course, we will take a week. So all of those friends signed up. I told them, I don't care what you send, I don't care what day of the week it is. I don't care if you send one thing, if you send two things, but just send her some joy in the mail. And for 22 weeks, one friend a week sent her joy. And I didn't tell her we were doing it. And it was amazing to me. She would get home and she was so excited to run to the mailbox. And I just saw what joy that brought her through a little something. One of her friends, Ashley Bedner, if you're watching, we still sort of giggle at the fact because you have to think about it. 26 year olds, they've never been really placed in this situation. So most of them didn't know what to send and Ashley sent a honey baked ham and we loved it and that was wonderful. But it was just so funny to us because you don't really think of a honey baked ham, but everybody ate it and it was awesome. And it didn't even matter what it was, whether it was a card, whether it was a honey baked ham, whether it was a gift card to Starbucks, whatever it was brought so much joy to Lauren. And that is what has kept her going through this cancer journey with Stringer. So that's why um, we at Pass on Joy and Personal Pep Rally decided we wanted to do the same thing for cancer patients. So last year, we started sending boxes of joy when people would give us names of cancer patients. And a couple of months ago, I was talking to the girls one day and I said, you know, we send out these boxes, but yet I don't want anybody to ever feel like we've forgotten them. So if you are on my list, if a cancer patient is on our list at Pass on Joy, I want them to receive monthly joy. I just don't want them to get one box and that's it. I want them to remember that people are remembering them. So we started a couple of months ago where every month we send joy. Well, that has to be paid for some way. And of course, Personal Pep Rally is our 501c3 and we use some of the funding from that. But we also came up with another program that's going to be open to everyone on our online store when PassOnJoy.com is up and going. And it should be going in a week or so. But what it is, is if you send a box of joy, it pays for a cancer patient to receive joy once a month. Now, let me explain to you. To get a box of joy, you do not have to be a cancer patient because you can send a box of joy to anyone because everybody needs a cheerleader, everybody needs a personal pep rally. It's some time in your life, and if you go back to James 1, 
verse 1, 2, 3, and you read that first section, he tells you whenever you face trials, because everybody faces trials in their life. So at some point in time, you are going to need some joy, and somebody can send that to you. For example, this box right here is called the You Are Extra box, and it's to be sent to a friend or somebody that you really care about, and in it are all different things that say you sparkle, because we want the person receiving this box to realize that somebody really cares about them. We're gonna have seven options of boxes. We have an All About You, which is a birthday box, Perk Me Up, which is a coffee box. You Are Extra, which is the friend box. The Cool Your Jets, which is the relaxation box. Fill Your Cup, which is just a general joy box. Mad About It, which I love, because everybody at some time in their life gets mad about something. And even Jesus got mad, so it's okay to be mad. And the Pass On Peace, which is a comfort box. So we wanted you to know who we were, what we are doing, what we are trying to do. And I also want to show you this month, if you were a cancer patient on our list, you got a little joy magnet in the mail. And I like to put confetti in these. And when they pull it out, confetti goes everywhere. We already have ready for October what you are getting. This company, Standing on the Word Socks, developed and um, designed a pair of socks just for Pass on Joy. So in October, the women will get these, and don't worry, men, I have a man sock that's called Note to Self, and so the men cancer patient will get these, and the women will get the Standing on the Word sock. So that's what's going out in October. So we're really busy here. We try to keep up with things. We are always one month ahead. If you have a person that you know that has cancer, be sure and send us their name and their address and they will be on our list and they will stay on our list because what we want to do for so many people out there is we want to pass on joy because so many people have passed on joy to Lauren and Stringer through this whole um, situation and roller coaster ride with cancer. And we want to do the same thing for others because we have been so blessed from pay prayers and text messages and calls and concerns that we want to pass on that love that everybody has shown to us as joy to another cancer patient. Let me remind you, when we open our store, it's online. It's going to be passonjoy.com. You don't have to send these boxes only to cancer patients. You may need a box of joy. We will let you know on more details. You can also sign up at personalpeprally.org. You can sign up for my blog and you will see everything that's going on. You can also follow us on Instagram at Pass on Joy. We also have a Pass on Joy um, Facebook page and our personal pep rally page. I met yesterday with Jan and all, which I'm just blessed. God answered prayers with that. And she's going to start doing tips for the cancer patient from the cancer patient. On there, I'm really excited. We have lots of things going on. If you would like to volunteer, you can reach out to us also because we always need volunteers up here. Thank you so much. Have a great week. See you Monday, 6 a.m.